Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Pre Market Report sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. US markets closed higher after falling for a few days before that, and Dow shot up nearly 500 points, but Nasdaq has underperformed. Uh, Dow you know, seems to be having some kind of a resistance around 40,000. So, as and when it goes near 40,000, some selling happens. Asian markets is as usual mixed. Some markets are higher, some markets are lower. And GIF Nifty indicating about a 30-35 point down. Remember, yesterday also it was something like this. I think yesterday it was about 40-50 uh, point down. But what has happened? The opening was positive. Then the positive momentum continued and Nifty rallied nearly 200 points yesterday at the highest point of the day. Another unusual thing that has happened yesterday was that you know the premium completely collapsed when the Nifty shot up nearly 200 points. Then late afternoon when the market started falling, the Nifty future did not fall much and the Nifty future premium expanded. So this is unusual because just see today is the day of expiry, just one day to the expiry and the nifty future is almost at a premium of 70-75 points. So, which means that by the end of today, even if nifty is higher by 75 points, the people who are having long position, they are not going to make even 1 rupee profit. But still why are they, you know, demanding such a high price? And like if they are holding the longs, they could have sold it yesterday, you know, at a 75 point premium just for one day, but still they are holding. So that means, you know, uh, like the shots are very, very high and these shots are ready to buy at any price, at any premium or to cover their shots. So, you know, closer to the expiry, if the premium is very, very high, so that means, you know, the shots are still there. So those shots are buying, so that's why that buying momentum is continued, the premium is maintained. But anyway, today it has to get correct. And if you can remember yesterday, I told you a uh, few things. Number one, global queue is good. Number two, FIADA, both were buyers. And number three, the HDFC bank, the ADR was higher, right? So all these points to, you know, no negative. So there's a possibility of a positive uptrend and flat opening mostly you know is good for the trending. So if you look at the setup today also it's almost exactly look at the same way. Number one US markets were higher global queues are good. Number two HDFC bank ADR is up by 2 percent right. Of course HDFC bank ADR and HDFC bank here so there is no one is to one correlation but Instead of 2 percent, even if 1, 1 and a half percent, if HDFC bank gap up open, you know, so that alone can contribute, you know, a significant number of points to both Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. And in addition to that, ICICI bank, Infosys ADR also higher. And because of uh, expiry, you know, so this uh, IT stocks have been, you know, very badly beaten down. You know, so there may be some kind of a short covering there also, there is a possibility. So yesterday it was Reliance Industries that took the market higher, but today uh, I don't think that Reliance will have steam left to take the market higher. Then something else, like probably HDFC Bank and ICSA Bank and some kind of a short covering in uh, TCS and Infosys. So these four stocks, you know, will be very, very main today. Uh, as I told you, you know, the premium is too high. So that has to get corrected. So uh, usually the end of second week or the beginning of the third week already, the premiums will collapse. You know, after that, the premium may be 30, 40 points. But now 75 points for one day expiry is just too extraordinary. So, US weeks fell below 13, you know, so, you know, in the last 15 days, you know, my profit is, you know, just like shooting up like anything. Uh, I think I have made more than $80,000 in just last 15 days, uh, mainly because of this uh, range bound market with weeks collapsing. 
so you know non direction i am not exactly non directional play, player but i have taken a slightly bullish view in us markets a slightly bullish view not very bullish so that's why in the my profit is extraordinary made more than 1 lakh dollars in last one month so uh, here today is the monthly expiry so usually on an expiry day markets tend to be uh, more volatile you know because the 1 rupee premium will go to 10 rupees 50 rupees that kind of thing so you know uh, usually i always say if there is a longer weekend because tomorrow is a trading holiday so i had of the longer weekends the people will not like to carry the positions and so that may add more volatility in fact you may remember last friday also we had a hell lot of volatility and because last monday was a holiday so tomorrow holiday but one good thing is that tomorrow is an international holiday so things can happen so things can be volatile but i am expecting nifty to settle down you know uh, 22000 to 22200 and i am expecting you know a positive bias uh, in the trading session so bajaj finance is above 7000 Uh, yesterday uh, it seems that bajaj finance is uh, having its subsidiary bajaj home finance so they are planning to come out with an ipo so that is a stock specific new so by the way uh, thanks to everyone who wished me on my 60th birthday i should have stated this in the beginning of the video i forgot so therefore i am just saying at the end of the video so may god bless you all of you thank you